The story we will be reading today is called Wilma Rudolph Against All Odds. Wilma Rudolph stories the biography. Biographies tell about real people's lives. So as you listen and read Wilma Rudolph Against All Odds, notice what the person did. Photos of the person. A timeline that shows the order of events. Wilma Rudolph Against All Odds by Stephanie E. McKeka. Little Wilma. Wilma Rudolph was born on June 23, 1940 in Tennessee. She was born early. She only weighed 4.5 pounds. She was often sick because she was so small. Polio. At age four, Wilma was very sick. She got better, but her mother was still worried. Something was wrong with her left leg and foot. The doctor said Wilma had polio. The doctor said Wilma would never walk. Wilma could not walk for two years. Her, her brothers and sisters helped her by exercising her left foot and leg. Wilma wore a brace on her leg. She could not play games and sports at school. She watched the other kids play. She wanted to be like them. Look at the pictures. Some children with polio learn to walk with braces and crutches. President Franklin D. Roosevelt had polio. He could not walk. Today, polio is very rare. People can get shot so they do not get polio. Sports. Wilma worked hard to get stronger. By age 12, she did not use a crutch or a brace. Wilma was happy to play sports. Her brothers built a basketball hoop in their backyard. They taught Wilma how to play. Wilma wanted to play ba basketball in high school. The coach wanted her sister on the team. Wilma's dad said both girls had to play. The coach agreed. Wilma became a star player. And there is a picture of Wilma. Ed Temple was a college track coach. He saw Wilma play basketball. He thought Wilma could be a track star. He let Wilma practice with his college track team. Wilma practiced hard. She wanted to get better. At first, Wilma was not a fast runner. Coach Temple showed her some special tricks to run faster. There's the picture, and the caption says Coach Ed Temple. Fun fact, Wilma scored the most points in a state basketball championship. The Olympics. Wilma's hard work paid off. At age 16, she made it to the Olympics for track and field. She won the bronze medal for the 100-meter relay race. Look at the pictures. The caption says, Wilma and teammates train for the 1960 Olympics. Wilma training for a race. No one thought Wilma's team would win a medal in the 1956 Olympics. Wilma was proud of her bronze medal, but she wanted to win a gold medal. Wilma set goals. She worked hard for four years. In 1960, Wilma went to the Olympics again. She ran in three races. She won every one. She was the first American woman to win three gold medals at one Olympics. Look at the pictures and the caption says, Wilma and President John F. Kennedy. Wilma in a parade. Fun fact, Wilma was called the Tennessee Tornado in the Black Pearl. A true hero. After the Olymp 1960 Olympics, Wilma went to college. She became a teacher and a coach. Wilma won many awards too. She was one of the first African American women to be honored for being a good athlete. Look at the pictures or the photos. And the caption says, Wilma holding her college diploma. 
Wilma received an award with her hero, Jesse Owens, on the right. Wilma's success gave many women a chance to try new things. Sadly, Wilma died young on November 12, 1994, but her amazing work will never be forgotten. Let's look at the photo of Wilma, and the caption says, A display to honor Wilma is in a museum in Tennessee. Fun fact, in 2004, the United States Postal Service created a stamp to honor Wilma. Here's the timeline. Pay attention to it. To look at the top, it says 1940, Wilma Rudolph is born in Tennessee. 1944, Wilma is diagnosed with polio. 1952, Wilma learns to play basketball and walk without help from a crutch or a brace. 1956, Wilma wins the bronze medal at the Olympics. 1960, Wilma becomes the first American woman to win three gold medals at the Olympics. 1994, Wilma dies at the age of 54. That is the end of our story. Thank you for listening.